Beata Home Healthcare is a multi-specialty provider of home health services. We deliver those services through about 250 branch locations in 23 states. Each and every week, we have about 15,000 employees that provide services to 25,000 clients across the country. We help clients from infants all the way through elderly hospice on all facets of care to help clients in the place that they want to be taken care of in their home. The Beata Way is our company's mission and it clearly states what we need to do and how we're going to do it. It's the most important part of our culture. We want to serve millions of people worldwide. We need to be the world's most trusted team of home health care professionals. We also want to create a lasting legacy. In some way, shape, or form, every one of us connects with the work. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Julie. I'm the nurse of Beata. How are you doing today? Hello. Hi. I got into nursing because I have a passion for helping others. It's really rewarding to help someone in some of their most vulnerable times, and there's nothing more vulnerable than not understanding what's happening to your own body. Why don't you have a seat in the chair for me? You are invited into someone's home, and it's a great opportunity for us to really make an impact on our clients' lives and their families. I'm going to listen to your lungs, OK? Sure. All right. Your heartbeat's a little fast. I told you because you're here. Okay. <laughs> I was in a severe car accident June 18th of 1990. But I don't believe in limitations. The only limitation is the one that you put on yourself. Can I ask you a couple questions, Lee? Sure. Okay. I use the tablet for everything. It has all my patient information. It's where I have all my critical medication information. It's where I get my navigation to the patient's house, and I would literally be lost without that device all day. <laughs> we experimented with laptops. We've experimented with large tablets with the Samsung. It was a natural fit. It enables the clinician to practice and supports them without getting in their way. How's your appetite been? When I'm working with patients, I want them to notice that I'm focusing on them. It's small enough that I can keep it away. I don't have to have it right in front of me. I can glance over to it if I need information. It's perfect size. A constant focus in home health care is reducing the incidence of rehospitalization. Providing clinicians with the information that they need to enable them to focus on the client's needs so that we avert that rehospitalization event is critical. Without technology and without the ability to capture clinical information at the point of care in the client's home, that wouldn't be possible. Once I complete a visit, I can immediately give the office feedback. I can sync, and as soon as that sync is completed, the office gets the information on the visit. We have 3,000 clinicians out in the field in clients' homes today making multiple visits. By the end of today, all of that information can be analyzed by any one of us in the back office environment and that ultimately will guide the care that we're providing tomorrow. T-Mobile and Samsung have been great partners because they realized from the beginning that we didn't have all the answers. They offer a service called the no-touch hassle-free implementation which allowed us to deploy at a steady cadence and have T-Mobile configure our over 2,500 devices with our software, never missed a rollout date. I work in very rural areas throughout the county, so I need to be able to have instant connection at all times. I haven't had any problems with the, with the network no matter where I've been at. The range of applications, the range of services that are available when you bring a, a smartphone and a tablet and, and data connectivity into a client's home is creates endless opportunities. It's really providing safer patient care and better quality care and, and it's making my job easier. I think uh, all around they're great, they're great products and I think they should be used more often.